What's up? It's been a while since I made a video. So, uh, by now, in case you don't already know, and you're not following me on Instagram, I'm doing full-time knife making work. And, uh, living in Red River, New Mexico. A little mountain town in northern New Mexico. And, uh, I actually drove out, uh, kind of west, or no, east, southeast of Red River to do some photography of a knife I'm about to send off. I'm in this little town called Eagle's Nest. Eagle's Nest. Look at that. Shimmering lake water. Mountains all around. This beats the crap out of Dallas any day of the week. I love this place. We've had kind of a mild winter, which has been a bummer because um, most of the towns around here depend on snow for, you know, for the ski tourists. But anyhow, fine by me because I make knives full time and I don't rely on that. So this is what I came out to do some photography on. This is the second knife I've sold. Um, so it's designated Farinat number two. This one has an alternate blade shape though. This is a, a blunted tip that I designed for, so you can see that tip is not sharpened. Designed it for my sister who's a paramedic in Austin. But, uh, I'm giving, I'm selling this one to a guy in New Jersey by the name of Kevin. Check out that, check out that maker's mark. CG, Red River, New Mexico. Got kind of an Art Deco look going on here. Gold anodized on titanium. This side is not anodized with an anodized pocket clip. All stone washed all around. Cage bearing system. Looks so slow on camera sometimes when you're recording because the the frame rate. But believe you me, it's fast. D10 is good. Lockup is good. Good, good. About 30%, 35% maybe. Yeah, I'm wearing these gloves because I don't want to get any grease on it. I don't know if the yeah, that's picking up color real nice. I mean, it's just awesome. Kind of a shimmery steampunk color to it. Sorry about the wind. Kind of a windy. This is like the windiest place in northern New Mexico right here. Eagle's Nest. It's cold and windswept, but still beautiful. The other towns are a little bit more, like Red River is completely shielded by mountains all around. Although it gets extremely windy sometimes, but less, less so. Um, I'm currently sold out right now, so don't ask. <laughs> People who paid attention got on the list. I didn't have a huge list, but uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to kind of know when, uh, when I open books again. Maybe make a bigger batch. I'll probably get more of these blade shapes because I think people like this, this blade shape. It's just different. Not that different. It's pretty much... It's pretty much like a sheep's foot, horncliffe type thing. But yeah, if you haven't checked out my, uh, the first blade I sold, the Tough Thumbs, check out his video on his channel, and then I have plenty of, uh, I have all kinds of pictures of the entire build process on my Instagram. Really proud of this one. I really like, I really like the design I did on it. I worked really hard on this. Like any other custom knife maker, I put my entire soul into doing this. Worked long hours. Um, but, you know, I'm grateful to work these long hours because I'm my own boss. I'm not working at I'm not working for anyone else but myself. So it's, you have to self-motivate and it's hard work. But you can't beat being your own boss. You really can so thanks for checking it out guys and uh, can't promise that I'll be making any more videos anytime soon. It's just not as easy as Instagram. 
especially with the limited internet connections I have here and uh, well you know most of the night people have moved to Instagram nothing wrong with that we're still making videos it's just less less of them but uh, as usual I'm in ending the video with rambling so thanks for dropping by I'll talk to you folks later peace